here today at Polytech uh, in Otago, Dunedin, and we are coming to fit the EB14 1000cc injectors. So this is a full length injector, um, you get rid of the pin tool, the top and bottom becomes a half height one. Uh, these are from NZDFI and they are about $579. So we're going to fit them in here um, on our EFI hardware pod throttle bodies for our SR20B build. So yeah, because these are 1000cc, they're going to be in their EFI uh, e E85 rated. Uh, they'll be able to handle what I'm going to throw at them. So I'm going to fit these and maybe maybe later on some secondary ones, sort of like Ferrari F1 style. Anyways, I'll just get to work with this. Alright, well, I just gave these a bit of a blowout of the ports uh, after, after that. They've been sitting for a while, so I'm just going to give them a little bit of a clean out. Uh, just to make sure that there's no like dust or debris sitting in there. Which could potentially cause some issues later on down the track with uh, the injectors. So hopefully, yeah, I don't have any issues because I'm not keen on that. Yeah, just, I've got to hurry up and get this job done so that I can carry on with something else, but yeah, just showing you the process of what it takes. So uh, what I just did now was uh, tied a bit of a knot on the end there, and I'm going to pull through here so this will pull any, like, thing in there. And that's basically like when you pull, like, the plug through a barrel of a um, paintball gun. It, will clear out all the debris so they'll be nice and clean. So one by one we will remove the caps and fit the half height uh, injectors into the fuel rail. So they've already they've already got um, silicon on them. So all we have to do is just push them in. Hey. Hey. Can I please be a pain in the ass oh, and yeah. ask for you to help me flip this oven over? Oh. <laughs> just an interruption there, but yeah, so we'll keep pulling these caps off. It's pretty easy, just pull and twist. And Oh, some of, there's some other bits on these ones because these are actually for the CA18 and SR20 uh, DET. So yeah, just push them in. And should look like that. So I'm using my safety glasses to hold the rail. And I just spotted a little bit of stuff here. So just get that out. So last one. Pop the cap off. Ugh. Exposes that. And then pop them in. That one's a little bit tight. So yeah, that should look like that. The plugs sitting upwards because when it sits in the manifold they'll be kind of like that so I'm just going to fit them in how it is so took a little bit of getting them in there but 
there in. So yeah, I'll just push it down a little bit and hopefully they seat in there nice and bolt them up and we are ready to go. So I'll just have to replace the screw that I pulled out. So, I've encountered a problem. The injector has a little plastic thing that I ended up cutting off. Uh, it takes ages to zoom. But, um, yeah, so I ended up cutting it off with a craft knife. It'd probably be better if you machined it with a lathe. Uh, air fi solution, or air fi hardware did tell me that I had to sand it back, but that looked really shit when I sanded it, so I just cut it completely off. <sighs> Uh, but I think it'll be good, it'll work. So we'll just put the o-ring back on, pop it back in the hole, and we're good to go. So I think I've figured it out. You need some pliers, and a craft knife. And basically, cut one side of it off, if you can, and then twist it off. So give it a go. Be careful not to cut into it too deep. You basically just want to shave bits off until you see the metal coming through. So, um, it's just a little bit of metal you can see there. So you should be able to just twist it and it will come off and then your this will allow the injector to seat fully into the the port without uh, any issues when you fit the fuel rail So you should be able to pull it off. Comes off like that. All right, so they're in. We will just screw these down, and oh, we are home and hosed. I've got to leave one uh, undone because I ended up cutting the slot in it. So, anyways. It's done. Let's go.